Welcome to Seville, capital of Andalusia in Spain. It's the place to be if you like historic architecture, flamenco music, a glass of sherry and a bit of sun. But before you're rushed to book tickets, just slow down a moment, because you'll get more than just a bit of sun here. This is the hottest region in the whole of Europe. In fact, it's been getting so hot that going out to catch some rays in Seville and nearby Cordoba might not be the best idea. Earlier this year, record-breaking temperatures topped 40 degrees Celsius before summer even arrived. Inland areas like Cordoba expected to reach 15 degrees above normal, with highs of around 40 degrees Celsius. Remember, this is in April. The civilian sun is becoming dangerous, and long term it's only going to get worse due to the impact of climate change. But now the city has hatched a clever plan to tackle this problem creating new public spaces that are really cool, quite literally, and all based on an idea from ancient Persia. Yes, this is how one of Spain's largest cities is using a strategy pioneered thousands of years ago to beat the heat. When we say Andalusia is hot, we're not kidding. This part of Spain is known as the Iberian Oven because of all that warm air it receives from North Africa, just a few hundred kilometers to the south across the Strait of Gibraltar. Scientists have predicted that 50 degree heat waves are extremely likely here by the end of this century, which is not a good sign when people's lives are already at risk. In the 12 months prior to August 2023, more than 100 people died in the city due to extreme heat. Throughout the summer, even locals find it too hot to be out in the open. And when the country relies on tourists who are expecting it to be hot, but not this hot, it's all a bit worrying. That's why Seville has come up with this, an underground air conditioning system based on an idea that originated way back in ancient Persia, albeit with a modern touch, renewable energy. It's all happening here, on a site that once hosted a World's Fair that brought tens of millions of people to the city. Expo 92, an international festival of cultural and technological achievement that's now transforming the city. Today, many remnants of Expo 92 still remain across Seville's Isla de la Cartua district, including this giant sphere. Because back in the 20th century, a World's Fair just had to have one. Others are harder to spot, like the small amphitheatre that was used to host dramatic performances during the expo and that's now been revived. Next to the amphitheatre is another public space, but this one was built from scratch. The Zocco is a new conference centre that can be divided up into compartments for various uses. But the most interesting thing about these structures isn't what they're for, it's what's happening underneath them. This is the site of a new pilot project aimed at cooling public spaces while using as little energy as possible. It's a partnership between several organisations, including the City Council, the Water Company and the University of Seville. Called Kartua Kanot, it involves building a system based on the kanots developed in Iran thousands of years ago. These consisted of large underground tunnels that collected water from a source below ground. A number of shafts leading to the surface were then excavated, allowing hot air inside which would then be cooled by the water in the canats. The most famous example is the Canat of Zarch, which has been serving the city of Ziad for over three millennia. Here, the cooled air from the underground canats is circulated into a building and out through these wind towers, while the water is used for irrigation and other purposes. Seville's Cartua Canots follows a similar principle, but with a 21st century twist. It works like this. Two channels were excavated next to the Zocco, which were filled with water, the modern equivalent of a canot. A series of pipes or ducts were then submerged into the water. Warm air is drawn inside the pipes, which is cooled by the surrounding water, and then distributed to the conference centre through the floor and under the lower seats. Underneath the canots, another set of pipes were buried in the earth, this time using the soil to cool the air. There's also a cooling unit which can kick in if the air temperature isn't coming down quickly enough. Another method being implemented here, used to keep the water in the canots nicely chilled, is evaporative cooling. One way this is being done is through the elevated aqueduct that runs between the Zocco and the amphitheater, which is also supplied with cool air from the canots. Inside the aqueduct, water is sprayed through nozzles, which partially evaporates and makes the remaining water cooler. Water is also sprayed over the solar panels that sit on top of the Zocco, which cools as it evaporates in the sun before re-entering the system. 
The amphitheatre also has a special covering that can alter its temperature thanks to an irrigation system supplied by the can of water. The Zocco has a similar system in the form of a radiant ceiling, which can also be heated in the winter. As for the electricity needed to power everything, it all comes from those on-site solar panels, which, as you can imagine, work very well in a scorching hot city like Seville. The idea is that this will all prove that spaces in hot urban environments can be made more comfortable in a multitude of ways. If it works, other cities across Europe might want to try something similar. In fact, that was a key aim of the EU, which provided most of the 5 million euros of funding. Has it been money well spent? Well, a decision on that is going to have to wait. Although the project was inaugurated back in October 2022, it still hasn't opened to the public. According to a report, one of the construction companies still has work to complete. A fault with the irrigation system led to damaged vegetation, and costs have also increased unexpectedly. Despite this, the plan is to clear all the remaining hurdles by the end of 2023, after which, hopefully the people of Seville can benefit from all the hard work that's gone into this project. It might only be a small-scale solution for a city the size of Seville, but it shows what can be done to combat rising temperatures using both old and new methods. So thanks, Agent Persia. You've shown us a great way to keep our cool. Don't forget that we're raising awareness of construction's mental health crisis and supporting charities in this space through our Get Construction Talking initiative. There's a video series on our channel and you can find support or donate over at getconstructiontalking.org. And as always guys, if you liked this video and you want to learn more about where construction is headed, make sure you subscribe to Tomorrow's Build.